right, y'all. So, oh, hope that's not moving. But I'm about to do my makeup really fast. Put my, okay. I already put my moisturizer, eye cream on. So I'm letting that kind of sit under my eyes. But that will help with the creasing. And I'm also, I've also put sunscreen on. So. Oh! If y'all hear my baby in the back, she's watching TV. I'm going to put some primer on because that should be something we always are using. So I, my two favorite primers are the IL Makeage or however you say this. Um, they're no filter poreless base soothing primer. I love their primer and then I also love the pore filter primer from Fenty. Um, I think I'm going to use pore filter primer. Not too much burning this underneath my eyes because I don't want it to want too much underneath. single day so I don't have a basic uh, face routine it's just whatever I feel like doing that day um I think I'm gonna put some uh not primer but some translucent powder I heard that Laura Mercier has a new powder out so I am ready to try that I'm just gonna put powder in these areas so Anywhere where I have fine lines, and that's mostly my small lines. Mostly small lines. Around my nose area, forehead, chin. And that's it. Don't need it anywhere else but those areas. Alright, so... Now I'm gonna go in with my Luminous Setting Spray and I'm gonna spray my brush that I'm gonna use to apply my foundation. Right, and I'm gonna let that sit on my brush for a minute. I'm still trying to think what do I wanna use foundation-wise. Movies place um, foundation. I'm not gonna apply a whole bunch. I just need a little bit, so. About that much, can you see? About that much. Nobody else had a clue what I can do, what I can do. Alright. So I'm gonna spray my brush again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out what I already have all over my face. shadow ever since um, I was pregnant and it's so hard for this to go away because I hold on to pigmentation hyperpigmentation a lot like very strongly if I'm saying that right but it's like it sticks to me I've been trying everything oops everything now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty concealer in the color well, shade 400 and I'm just going to pat this in. I'm only going to do this in my cheeks though. I'm not placing it anywhere else. I'm going to... 
to blend out my concealer everywhere else let me wet my sponge first so with this same brush i'm going to not brush with my same um sponge and it's clean y'all i just did that just now put those stains on it has some product on my hand but i'm spraying it with the same luminous uh setting spray from morphe and i'm going to actually blend out the chin highlight under here nose everywhere except under the eyes that'll be last all right now i'm going to take my brush that i use to blend out my foundation and pat that in blend out my contour before i blend out under my eyes i'm using an angled brush to do so it's not such a big rush when it comes to blending out you don't want to rush blending out that's all i'm saying like take your time blend pat in do not swipe you're swiping once you swipe you're swiping makeup off of your face and not pushing it into the skin what i can do what i can do I'm gonna take my brush and my foundation brush and underneath where that line ends, I'm going to just pat that in to blend. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my sponge again. to blend in under my eyes so the reason why i applied my concealer the way i did is because i want it to look like my face is being pulled up instead of dragged down I applied it in triangle in a triangle shape like that helps illuminate your face the correct way by making sure your your face is being pulled up So I'm gonna take my foundation brush and pat in underneath. Not going under, actually on my under eye, but it was underneath that. To pat in all the, the lines. So now I'm going to go in with a lighter color. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, the 35 in medium. And this is literally the only place I'm putting it. It's the only place I need it. I'm going to let that sit for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer. Not concealer. Set my bronzer. Contour. Same under eye brush. This is the Patrick Star Turn Up the Base versatile foundation powder let's pop this right in there right in So even in the places where I didn't actually put contour, uh, the the first part, what am I saying? The contour stick cream, I'm gonna go ahead and just go in those areas. So up in here. And I'm not really going back too much into the powder. I'm just using what I have on the brush now I am. Um, for this area, And this is just gonna add definition to your face. All right, I'm gonna leave this out because I still have to use my nose. Um, I actually, I actually might use this. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead underneath my eyes and blend this out. And it just gives me that beautiful highlighted look underneath my eyes. 
I'm literally patting this in very gently. It may look like I'm pressing hard, but I'm really not. Um, but this is going to give me that beautiful... Whatever was left off on the sponge, I'm just taking it down the bridge of my nose. Instead, completely just honestly going back in and blending everything out. You want everything to be as seamless. You don't want to see any lines of demarcation. I use Translucent Honey and by Laura Mercier. The setting powder. And I'm going to flip my sponge. I am not going to bake. If you do makeup on other people, do not blow on what you're putting on their face or anything. But since this is going on my face, I don't really care. So by me putting on um putting on the eye cream before I did anything to my face or started putting concealers or anything on. It kept my under eyes very highlighted. I mean, Bruh. it kept my under eyes very moisturized. So I didn't have to worry too much about that. And that is the importance of moisturizing your skin um, with moisturizer, face moisturizer and stuff before you start putting makeup on because if you start putting makeup on dry skin, it is not going to look right. Like I said, I'm not baking. I'm literally patting this into my skin. I'm flipping the sponge back and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out that top. So even on my brows, I'm going to apply powder. Like I'm going in with the um, concealer. blend all right I'm gonna take this little brush right here and kind of go under my eyes to get the excess little bit of powder up take a flat top kabuki type brush and set everything. Okay, I'm trying to clean up as I go. So, because ain't nobody got time to be cleaning up stuff. Um, and I'm trying to head out the door my brows now i'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera because i have a brow tutorial coming and um yeah i just want to do this off camera because i gotta really focus so one minute that's just here i'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer not what am i talking about i'm gonna put some mascara y'all don't ever do that to y'all mascara i don't even know why i did that just now but nobody I'm gonna go ahead and place my my um glue on for my lashes and I'm just putting this on my lash line. Oh my God. 
I can usually put these on with my fingers, but I want to kind of do it with the tweezers. All right, so lashes are on. Now I'm going to go in with my blush. And we should be done after that. Y'all, I really gotta get me an actual vanity. But I didn't feel the need to get like a big vanity right now because I, I my makeup collection has shrunk drastically. I just didn't I haven't been buying purchasing makeup. But I just started back. Um I had 80 something dollars to use. And worst points at Ulta, you know your girl went in, okay? I went in. All right, I'm going to take this little brush here, and I'm going to use my, this is the Shayna B Miami Blush and Highlight Palette. Love this palette. Do you understand me? Love it. All right, so I'm going to take Rosa right here for my blush. Taking my blush, not blush, my powder brush and patting that into the skin. Now I'm going to spray my face actually. I'm gonna use the Luminous uh, Glow Setting Spray and spray the whole face child. go back in with the same palette and I'm going to use um, the color sugar bomb at the top as my highlighter I'm going to take this brush right here this is a morphe r36 brush and apply the highlighter love this color nervous I'm literally about to go get a Brazilian I'm so nervous right now like so so nervous I'm gonna take me some pain medicine before I go um, well before I get in the chair on the table to snow it's been a minute it's literally been a minute And I'm gonna take the same color and put it in my inner tear duct. Sugar balm. And apply it right in here. If y'all hear my daughter back here, she is literally doing stuff she has no business doing. But you know what? Mommy has to film for a second. So. have these inner parts of my eyes highlighted go y'all look at it look at it <laughs> okay so i'm also going to take that color as well i'm sorry y'all and put it on my cupid's bow i kind of stopped doing this but it honestly really really brings out everything i'm gonna take this la girl lip liner in espresso Wipe my lips off real fast. Good pointer. I 
I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Heat. This is in cherry, hot cherry. I'm going to apply this. And I'm also gonna go with this LA Colors Glossy Lips Moisturizing Sheer Gloss. This is in Tropical Punch. And I'm just gonna apply this all over. So now I'm going to go ahead and seal everything in. I'm gonna use the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. Now y'all, I found this, somebody on TikTok, a couple makeup artists I knew, uh, well, I follow on TikTok and Instagram have this spray and they say that it's amazing. So I'm gonna be honest, I used it last time I did my makeup paired with this. Perfect mixture. one on my eye and um, I make one <laughs> um, on my cheek area so here here and here simple so I'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup loose. I mean, what am I saying to y'all today? My hair loose. Oh, All right. So here's the finish look. Yeah. Yeah. 